All right, Shacklethorn Auction. I really dig the vibe of this heist, you know? The creepy old mansion at nighttime with the fog and the rain. Aesthetically, it's very cool. Very ominous, very creepy, you know? Okay, so our ladder's on the right side. Which is very nice. If it wasn't over here, it'd be on the left side, you know? Which is fine. We don't have to bother with the metal detector because we got this ladder. That'll save us like a couple of minutes. Not like a huge time saver, but the electrical box would either be on that side or that side. It wasn't over there, so it'll be over there. And then we just have to sneak past the couple of guards in the metal detector. Saves us a couple of minutes, and I didn't even notice the body bag case is right here. Okay, the vault, or not the vault, the uh, the office is right here because the blinds are closed, which is nice. So that means the two electrical boxes will be either over there or over there or downstairs. Then I'll get some trip mines down. We'll open this, see if we can find the blowtorch as well as the uh, power box. There's the power box. Also, the soundtrack also helps to the ominous, creepy vibe of the heist, you know? Very cool. There's only four guards at patrol upstairs. Oh, nice blowtorch. Cool. Um, I'll end up killing that guy because he walks in there with the office. Okay, the sieve is over here. We got both the loot rooms in here. Let me see. I don't see the hack boxes in here. Okay, so they're probably in the backside or downstairs. We'll see. Okay, they're up here. Now do the other one. You still got to hack into those Hello. access points. Great. Use those civvies to your advantage. Okay. okay. Cool. I might end up killing all four of the upstairs guards just because this is where the majority of the loot is. And as you can see there on my uh, HUD in the right, 36 artifacts. You should be fine there. Okay. So while we're waiting for this, I'll go ahead and bag one of the artifacts. And as soon as you bag your first artifact, it'll mark where the zip line will be, either this side or that side. And it can either spawn here, here, or over there, you know. You can also toss bags off the side, and they'll get magically teleported back right here, and then guards will never spot them there, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna move this guy right here, though. Go. If you toss body bags off the side, though, they don't get teleported back up here, which is also pretty cool. Okay. So real quick, let me just put one more trip mine this corner and then we'll head downstairs to the vault okay yeah there's the one guard that patrols the vault and there's two sieves in here there and there no camera above us get to the vault door every 10 minutes the vault gets a new guard stick a blocker unit on the keypad to stop it Let's grab this. Okay. And the zip line was in fact right here. Okay. And then the power room was back over here. Or not the power room. The power switch. Oh, that guy's right next to it. Ya bozo. I need to get in there, bro. That's okay. As long as this guy doesn't stop in front of this door, this guy's gonna stop in front of this door. <laughs> He's gonna trap me in here. Where that guy is. You bet. Oh, we gotta wait? Are you kidding me? Freaking dude. I gotta wait here, man? Are you kidding me? I don't wanna wait. Thank you. Appreciate it. And there we go. He heard me complaining, so he was like, alright, fine, I'll move for you, dude, I got you. Alright. And turn that off, and now we just gotta wait a little bit. The office was here. I almost messed that up terribly. I marked him. <laughs> Luckily, no cameras, though. That's, like, the worst. When you go to dominate a guard, like, right when they detect you. But you accidentally mark them too early. You you shout mark at them too early, so then um you end up just uh 
You end up just marking them and not um, yelling at them. <laughs> Sorry about the uh, the pause. I'm a bit of a scatterbrain today, you know. Okay, so his contour disappeared. There he is. Once he walks in here. Where's the other guy at? Probably in that room. Interesting, isn't it? <laughs> okay, key card. I'll move him back over here. Turn that back on. I gotta wait for this guy. And then, of course, he stops outside my door. <laughs> Can you leave, please, dude? I gotta get into his office. Which is literally right there, bro. Gonna swipe that. And now I'll set that up. Plenty of time to grab these three artifacts out of here. And freaking dude. But yeah, when you go to like dominate a guard, but you had said you just mark them, and then they just immediately start mag dumping you. <laughs> then it alerts the whole place. Yeah, that's that's the worst, you know. That's why it's nice to, um, kill them in one shot, the guards. That's why it's important to kill them in one shot, that is. Because if you don't, then that'll, that'll be what causes them to mag dump you, you know. Otherwise, they'll just, you know, yell at you to put your hands up or whatever. Okay. Code. Oh, thank you, extra heist info mod. 7283. Okay, cool. Let's just take this last artifact. Guard over here. Dump it over there. There's no stairs on this side. Okay. Of course that guard's going through right now. Alright, we'll wait a couple seconds. By a couple seconds, I mean a couple of minutes, I guess. Because if I can avoid that guard that walks through the vault, as well as the sieves, we kind of got lucky with the vault positioning. The 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 Alright, there is a glass cutter. You don't want to break the glass because it'll set off the alarm, but, um, glass cutter, so cover your ears. <laughs> Alright. So he should be gone by now. He's on his way back. Okay, that sieve might be a slight issue for me. As well as his guard. I'm going to have to wait for him to pass through again. 7283. Don't you stop right there. You keep going. That's what I thought, dude. But you could just type it in from down here. 7283. Come on, sieve. Stop looking at me. Eight, three, can't even enter it. Enter. There we go. Perfect. The camera placement in this um, vault area can be annoying. Usually one will spawn right there, and there's another one on the opposite side. Okay, we already got the blowtorch as well. Love being able to pick up mission items early. And there we go. That's a strange looking thing is here. Put it on <laughs> well, um, I'm glad I saw him. That could have been bad. Now once we get out of here, we can just kill the last two guards upstairs to speed up the loot moving process significantly because as you could see, there's still <laughs> quite a lot of artifacts to uh to move from up top. And he grabbed the one down here. Zip line is right here. Boom. It would be nice if you could actually open these from like the inside. These like window doors or whatever. That would just speed up loot moving quite a bit. But um, you know, unfortunate. Kind of be like that sometimes, you know. But oh well. Alright, and now for the fun part. Moving all these artifacts. But once again, 
we happy that they are not Shadow Raid artifacts? <laughs> that would be super sad if they were Shadow Raid artifacts, but you know, gotta be like that sometimes. Okay, so I'm not wasting too much time. I'm gonna go ahead and burning this one to the zip line. And then I'll kill this guard. Other guys over there, wait. Is he outside or is he in the room right now? Can't tell. He's outside, okay, never mind. So we'll wait on killing that guy. All right, you get to live for now, bub. Lock, you just said I can leave when I feel ready to once I get all the loot, man. Nothing's happening up here. It's all fine. Yeah, I didn't hear anything, man. It's all good. You sure it's not on your end? Okay. One more guard. Right over there. I'll go ahead and kill him now. Come on, let me loop the camera, please. No, 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 no. It's, it's all good, man. It's all good. All right, there we go. So now the upstairs is fully cleared out. And we don't have anybody or anything to worry about. Except for Locke yelling at us every five seconds to leave. <laughs> well, there we go. I mean, the heist itself has been completed in less than 12 minutes, but now we're going to spend another, like, 20 minutes moving bags. <laughs> Very, um, very cool. Very cool. But, you know, we saved our pagers for upstairs, so now there's literally nothing to worry about except for cameras. But cameras are easy enough to avoid. As long as you're somewhat smart about shooting, where you're shooting guards. I was kind of a little, um, haphazard, is that the word I'm looking for? Willy-nilly, I don't know, I don't know what I'm trying to say with the guard right there because, you know, that camera, but I had to shoot him out of the way of the sieves downstairs because I didn't want them to get alerted by seeing him upstairs. You know what I mean? But now we just move bags. We'll probably end up fast forwarding it. Lock, I'm securing Artifacts, all right? We're robbing them blind, bro. Okay. So that should be everything from back here. It's everything from there and there. We didn't get this one. I'll take this one over there. And then... I'll double check to make sure I got everything out of the office, and this should just be the rest of everything else between these two rooms here. Which is lucky that... The two loot rooms, or the, the ones the majority of the loot spawned right next to where the zip line's at. That's definitely good. It's just a closet. That's another closet. Already got the artifacts. Ah, these three right here. Yeah, I knew I was missing something, you know? The bright side, though, don't have to worry about guards spotting bags anymore, because all of them are no longer with us, as they say. You're pushing your luck by staying. Actually, Locke, I'm not. It was a calculated risk that I calculated. Hence the name, Calculated Risk. <laughs> oh, that was dumb. Alright, but anyway. We'll send these. Ideally, um, you put the bags just far enough to where you're not waiting on the little zipline thing too long. Because, you know, that's one of the things that Payday 3 does better than Payday 2. Ziplines are so much better in Payday 3. Because then I could just 
stack all the bags like right here and then throw them all. Also, the fact that there's no bag pickup cooldown delay thing in that game is also great. You know what I mean? Now this one right here is not loot. This is the one for, it's tied to an achievement for pressing F to pay respects. For me, it's E because I rebound the keybind. Thanks Skyrim, Bethesda games for making E the primary interaction thing in the games, you know? But okay, I think at this point we'll go ahead and fast forward it because it's just moving the remaining 20 or so artifacts and unlocking and cutting everything open. But uh, the soundtrack, tricks, yeah, Trick of the Trade, is pretty good. So, um, yeah, see you in however long it takes me to finish moving the bags. So this is the final artifact. I'm going to go ahead and stop fast forwarding it. This is kind of just a reminder for myself, I guess, when I'm editing the video in the future. But um, just in case you need some tips for bag moving, in case you didn't clear out the upstairs guards, in case you needed to kill the guard in the vault, or if you decided to take out cameras or for whatever other reason, the guards upstairs are relatively easy to avoid. Like I said earlier, you could throw the bags off the side. So um, if you bring bags from like over here or something, you could just throw them off like right here. They'll teleport over towards the middle and guards will never spot the bags here because the guards never go on this balcony. So there's that. The other thing you could do too, and it works for the other side as well, uh, in case, depending on where your zipline spawns. Uh, kind of like where I put the bags earlier, like if you toss them like right there, guards won't see them there either. If you toss them more or less in this little uh, corner here, works the same on this side put it like roughly right here where the zip line is as well as over on that side as well um then the guards will like walk through here they might spot it for a second but they'll never fully spot it spot spot it spawn it is that that's not even a word spot it you know what i mean um other than that pretty simple pretty straightforward block i'm securing bags where was our ladder at i think it was on the other side wasn't it yeah it was on this side this other side. But yeah, it's a pretty nice heist. It's really not that bad. I mean, I spent like, what, the past like eight minutes moving bags? Get on the ladder. <laughs> that was um, almost a sad day for me. <laughs> but you spend like eight minutes moving bags or so, not too bad. But you know, like I said, the vibes, you know? The, the way this heist looks, it looks pretty cool. You know what I mean? Very creepy, very ominous. Very cool looking, you know what I mean? But not too bad of a heist. So that is going to be it for this one. Apparently I completed a side job. <laughs> but anyway, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate you dropping a like on it. If you happen to be new to my channel, I'd also greatly appreciate you subscribing. If you're wondering why I didn't upload this on Friday the, um, what was that, the 11th? It's because on October 10th, Metaphor Refantasy Zero came out. So um, I've been playing that a little bit. So I put this video on hold for a little bit. Dang, 37 bags. That's a lot. I didn't realize how many there were. Just kidding. Yes, I did. This is a bag moving heist, you know what I mean? But anyway, that's enough of your time taken up, and I do appreciate it very much. So, I hope you have a great rest of your day, morning, afternoon, evening, nighttime, or whatever time it is for you and whatever time zone you are in. And I'll catch you all later. Delta Wolf, out.